Nitin and today in this PSLE 2015 paper 2 question series, I'll be going through question 9. So, in my channel, I aim to help you all master all those concepts out there and think beyond the boundaries for really tough questions. So, let's jump straight into question 9, okay? So, this question, question 9, has two methods to solve it. I'll be going through method 1 right now and method 2 will be similar but slightly different. So I'll go through method 2 later in this video. Okay, so this question is testing us on the topic of percentage. Okay, so let's read the question first. All right. At a concert, 55% of the tickets were sold at full price and 40% of the tickets at half price. The remaining 20 tickets were given away free. The total amount of money collected was $7,200. What was the full price of a ticket? So this question is awarding us three marks, okay? So, since that we have read the question, should we solve the question now? No, you must always underline and highlight the key information first, even if the question is really simple. But sometimes the questions can be simple, but it's very tricky, you know? So at a concert, 55% of the tickets were sold at full price. Sorry, I shouldn't have done that. I should have highlighted only the keyword. So 55% of the tickets were sold at full price and 40% of the tickets were sold at half price. The remaining 20 tickets were given away free. The total amount of money collected was $7,200. What was the full price of a ticket? So what is the full price of one ticket? That's what they're asking us. So now we just need to uh, find how much is the percentage for free? Since that we know that the percentage for full price and half price tickets are 55 and 40 percent respectively, we should find how many, how much is the percent for the given away free tickets? Okay, so we take 100 percent minus 55 minus 40 percent is equal to 5 percent. So 5 percent is given away free. Okay. So full price is to half price is to free is basically 55% is to 40% is to 5%. But we know that the free, the free 5% is equal to 20, right? Is 20, right? So 5% refers to 20. Okay, take an important point. When we are doing percentage questions, right? When we are writing percentage, we should not write equal. Instead, we should write an arrow, which means represents many of my classmates when they write equals, right, they have lose marks, a lot of marks. Because of just writing equal, they lose a lot of marks, okay? So, listen to me, um, just write the error mark. Even if your teachers allow equals, but in the PSLE, they, they wouldn't allow it. So, you must write error mark, okay? So, 5% refers to 20. And so, always find 1%, just like the units, find 1% is equal to, um, is refers to 20 divided by 5, okay? So 1% refers to 20 divided by 5, which is equal to 4. So 1% refers to 4. Now we can find 55% for full price. 55 times 4 equals to 220. And we can find the half price 40%, which is 40 times 4, which is equal to 160. So the full price, the tickets are 220, and the half price, the tickets are 160. Okay, so now the full price is two units, right? Two units. And because the full price is two times of half price, that's why it is two units while the half price is one unit. So the total amount of money collected for the tickets sold at full price is basically 220 times two because of the two units over here. One, one ticket is two units. That's why I times two, which is 440. And for the half price tickets, it wouldn't change because it's one unit. So it's just 160 units. The total amount of money collected for the tickets. So at half price, is still 160 units. So we just need to add them up. The total amount of money collected is 
440 units plus 160 units is equal to 600U. So 600U is equal to $7,200. So you should always find one unit which is equal to $7,200 divided by 600 which is equal to $12. So the full price of a ticket. So the ticket is two units, right? Two units. So that's why we should find two units. So two units is equal to 12 times 2. So 12 times 2 is $24. So this is the answer for question 9. $24. Okay. So let's move on to method 2. I'll show you how to solve the question in another perspective. Okay. So let's jump straight into method 2. So this is method 2. Okay, it's the same question and the first few steps are the same, okay? So, first few steps are the same. So, we just list down. Okay, so now that we have done that, right? Now, let me just highlight the key information again. This is just the first step. So, 55% of the tickets were sold at full price. This time, I'll just uh, highlight for the sake of time, I'll highlight it properly normally. Okay, so remaining 20 tickets were given away free. Okay, the total amount of money collected was $7,200. What was the full price of a ticket? Okay, so it's the same question. So this is the first few steps. Do you remember these steps? Um, these were the steps. Okay, so we find, uh, we know the free tickets are 5%, so we just find 1%. For, then we find the full price tickets 220 and the half price tickets 160. So the full price tickets remain at 220 units because of the because that now instead of um time times two the full price right we are just gonna keep the same instead of uh times two okay. We are going to keep it the same because I'm going to take the full price as one unit and the half price as half a unit. Okay, so the half price is half a unit now. So that is why I take 160 divided by 2 which will give us 80 units. So the total amount of money collected is basically 220 units plus 80 units which is equal to 300 units. So 300 units is equal to 700, uh, $7,200. So we find one unit, which is $7,200 divided by 300, which is equal to $24. So the full price ticket is equal to one unit, and one unit is equal to $24. And so this is the answer. Because the full price ticket is one unit, right? Um, I, I said take the full price ticket as one unit, while the half price ticket is half a unit. That is why the full price ticket is one unit. So one unit is equal to $24 and that's the answer. So I hope you understand my first method and my second method explanation for question 9 and, and thank you and bye bye. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!